okay, it's Friday, 22nd of July. It's uh, just come up to uh, quarter to six in the evening. Uh, I got out of work at four and uh, had all my gear in the car ready, uh, straight down the lake, because I wanted to get one of the four swims. I wanted to get in either the plateau swim again, where I had the 26 and the uh, 18 from a couple of nights ago on Wednesday, um, or perhaps the, uh, the island swim, if that was free, although there was a couple of lads in there, um, or um, the point swim, or the margin swim. And I've managed to get point swim because um, a friend has actually uh, went into the uh, plateau swim over there um, and he's had a couple of fish so uh, that's good um, and those lads over there they yeah, haven't moved uh, they were there on uh, Wednesday night and they've had fish as well um, the um, margin swim is free but I just fancy in here because uh, you know the fish are clearly sitting out there on that plateau uh, in the weed so um, they're probably there's probably they're probably elsewhere obviously but uh, I think there's a good concentration of them out there so uh, yeah I, I looked at the uh, I looked at the um, uh, margin swim and you know, I thought this was the best bet and I couldn't believe it was free but uh, yeah unbelievable <laughs> so uh, it was worth the rush down after after work um, Right, okay, I'm uh, nearly set up. I'm just going to be fishing PVA bags again, I think. I'm going to be putting one out there at uh, 12 wraps um, in a clear spot amongst the weed. I'm going to have a bit of a lead about, see if I can find another uh, spot a bit further out that's clear and put one out there. <clears throat> but if I can't, then I'm probably going to fish one over there or somewhere out there. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan. Right, okay. Um, it was sunny, but uh, we've got some dark clouds approaching from over there. I think uh, we're going to get some rain, so before we do that, I'm going to make sure I uh, get my rods out. Just made it. I think I'll um, probably stick a fresh bag out just before dark. Um, that'll be the plan. Right, I'm gonna sit back, have a Friday night beer, and uh, see if any fish show. Okay, coming up eight o'clock now. It's feeling pretty carpy out there. I reckon we could be on. Okay, same time as Wednesday, just before 11 o'clock. Got one, left hand rod. <laughs> mm, I don't know, might go 20. Huh. <coughs> 
pretty good guess. 20 on the nose. Come on, mate, calm down. Right. Behave. Very good. Okay. Right, coming in. Well that was very welcome, just before 11 o'clock, nice to get a fish under my belt. Um, yeah, can't believe it was the same time as the uh, one the other night on Wednesday. So uh, if uh, that's anything to go by then I should have another one about 3 o'clock. But uh, yeah, I won't be greedy, I'm well happy with that. Um, just shows that the you know the choice has been paid off, and that just came out of the blue. I was just about to uh, get my head down, just having a last look at my phone and stuff, and then uh, off it went. So, uh, yeah, well chuffed. I might have another little beer, I think, and sit up for a while. I don't think I'll go straight to bed. I've got to dry out as well. I didn't put waterproofs on and I knelt on the uh, on the mat there and uh, yeah. Jokers are soaking, but uh, that's not bad. You like that feeling, don't you? When you get in and you're smelling of carp, and then you just climb into your sack. <laughs> Can't be bothered to get changed. Uh, yeah. It's one of them. Uh, yeah, right, well, okay. Fingers crossed, might see you again before it gets light. Morning, six o'clock. A pretty quiet night. A few bleeps on each rod, but that was it. Everything's pretty damp. Just uh, having my first coffee. The plan is probably to let everything dry out and then. Uh, Depending, it looks like it's clear skies and no cloud. If it stays that way, I uh, might have a mooch up and down the lake, see if I can see any on top to have a go at. I'm here till lunchtime, so uh, yeah, got six or seven hours yet. Okay, well it's gone up to half ten now. Uh, I'm going to give it ten minutes, pull them in, go and see if I can find some fish. There's one out there. It's just gone under, going under the trees there. Just came through here as I walked through. <laughs> that didn't take long. I've literally just walked from up there. One out there. So it's back out of the water. There's two. Solitary fish though. I was hoping to find a group of them. 
just sitting on the surface. Get some mixers out there. Get some competitive feeding. There's not too many goals around today, so that might work. Just got to find the fish though. <laughs> Okay, but that's two fish seen between the uh, point swim and the uh, margin swim. Um, I'm going to get in the car now, drive around up the other end, have a look, and look in the, uh, the back bay. And uh, then I'm going to go around and see Ian over there, who's uh, fishing the plateau swim. See how he got on. I know he's had a couple, but uh, see if he's added to that. And. Uh, yeah, I, I can find some fish over there. A group. It's a back bay. Can't see anything. Nice breeze pushing into this corner. As you can probably hear. lurking in here don't think so okay I've got one more chance up the top end um, up that way but other than that nothing to go at. Right, last chance. Let's see if I can see anything in it around here. <sighs> yeah, I'm not going to find much in there. <laughs> Right, well, no, nothing. So uh, that's that. Um, glad I've had a fish though. Um, we'll be back down on Tuesday or Wednesday to have another go. Wednesday the 27th of July saw me back in the same swim for a quick overnighter. One rod went out to the left in a silty area which I had left alone the previous session and the other out right onto the weedy plateau. The conditions looked good with it being overcast but a quiet evening and night followed, so I was off early that morning to work having had a good night's sleep. I was back down on the Friday after work and was surprised to find the island swim free, so quickly jumped in there, as I knew it had done a big hit of fish for someone during the week. The point swim was also free, but I left it alone, having blanked in there two days earlier. A solid bag went out to the right in the mouth of the channel, and the left hand rod was cast 19 wraps in front to a clear spot in between the weed beds with half a dozen spots over the top of it. The evening drew in with me full of confidence and I settled down looking forward to some action. A misty morning arrived however with not a bleep being had and news filtered through that the activity I'd seen across in the points room overnight was due to a number of fish being caught. I had clearly chosen the wrong swim. I packed up wishing I had not been so hasty with my swim choice and I looked forward to the next chance I would have. That chance was an overnighter on 3rd of August when I opted for the margin swim. The point swim had been taken but I felt that casting 25 wraps in the direction of it would get me near the fish on the plateau. Both rods were put out at that range with fish showing in the area and half a dozen or so spots were put over each spot. I once again settled down for the evening with a degree of confidence, but the morning came with the buzzers staying silent. 
Two days later, the Friday evening saw me back in the same swim again. Hey, I'm back. It's uh, Friday, the 5th of August. It's uh, just gone up to half seven now. Been down since about five. Uh, had a chat with a fella who's fishing in the pint swim. Who's done, what, two nights now? Um, yeah, Wednesday night, Thursday night, and uh, unfortunately he's not had anything. It's been very quiet. Um, there's been one fish out in the last couple of nights uh, over the other side. The lake is um, fairly busy. Quite a few people down there, but this swim was free. Uh, and seeing as I've put bait out the other night, oh, yeah. um, I'm fishing one rod in the same spot as I did on Wednesday night, you know, which is the one on the end of the tall tree line at uh, 25 wraps. And I've got about half a dozen spots out again. Uh, but the other one, um, I haven't fished further out to the right because there's people in the plateau, and uh, whilst it's not in their water, it's a bit close. So uh, the other one, I've dropped in the margin. Uh, yeah, close in, just an underarm flick. Um, and actually, on my first flick, um, I spooked a fish there. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was a carp there. Um, so, um, yeah, well, I've um, got a few balls of bait on that and uh, 20 or so freebies. So, yes, we shall see whether that works. But, um, it having been really quiet, it doesn't look good. So, yeah, I'm not expecting too much. Okay, it's nine o'clock. Lights fading fast. Fingers crossed for the night, eh? Feels like a good fish. Come on, mate, come out of here. Okay, it's just gone half two in the morning. The right hand rod, and it's a good fish. It's a bit lively. <laughs> All right, sling zeroed. It's got to go over 30 pounds, I reckon. Thirty-one and a half. Beautiful. Very 
pretty good. Okay, the other side. Oh. Worth the wait. Okay. I want to go. He likes me. Go on, mate. Oh, really happy with that. Yeah. It's uh, coming up uh, half three now. Sorted out the chaos that always ensues when I've had a fish and uh, got it back out there. Just going to let these waders dry off a bit. <coughs> but um, that was funny. I've hardly had any sleep because both rods have been bleeping all night and the bobbing lifting a little bit. And <coughs> I'm thinking it's silver fish getting them amongst the uh, spod mix or tench. And the right hand rod was doing it the most. And uh, for about five minutes it was going up, you know, it's going up a little bit and down and just bleeping and and uh, I thought oh, I hope a tench hasn't knocked itself. And then it just pulled up a little bit more abruptly. Um, I thought, oh yeah, it probably has then. So uh, you know, picked up the rod and uh, just felt heaviness, no kicking or anything. I thought, oh it's weird itself. So I started pumping it and um, all of a sudden it was feeling heavy, you know. Uh, and there's no you know kicking or anything on the end. And then um, I could tell by the way the line was <coughs> entering the water that you know some, it had kited towards the margin. Out from where I was, you know, the angle I was fishing. So you know, I started pumping it, pumping it, and when I got about, you know. 30 or so yards out, you know, I could tell it was a fish who was starting to pull back a bit. Um, and uh, then when I got it in the beam of my uh, head torch, I knew it was a fish. And I knew it was a good fish as well, as I could tell from that far out. Um, just the scale of it. Um, so, yeah, I'm really surprised. Um, and it made a few lunges for the uh, sort of underhang here and uh, in the margin. Um, oh, overhang the bushes, the snags, and um, but yeah, I managed to steer it away, and actually, it didn't do too much out in front of me, so it came to the net quite easy, which I'm glad about. <laughs> um, but yeah, really weird. really weird. I wouldn't have thought it was a carp to start with at all. Complaining, especially when it's 31 and a half pound. Yeah, so well happy. Yeah, 
morning. It's just gone six o'clock now. Where's that kettle? Well, I managed to get a couple of hours sleep, but uh, the left hand rod has been bleeping for the last sort of half hour. And, uh, I'm waiting to see if anything happens there. I was going to put the chesties on and uh, recast the uh, right hand rod accurately now that it's light, but uh, I think I'll wait to see uh, if anything happens on the, uh, on the left. I'll give it an hour or two. It's going to be another hot one today. It doesn't look very promising, I uh, may go have a little walk around the lake just before I go, or for an hour or so before I need to be off just to see if there's any, any fish mooching about to have a go at. Okay, it's coming up nine o'clock now. Um, I've changed my mind on uh, recasting them and that again, mainly because up the margin, a bit further up, a fish rolled about half an hour ago. So I'm just going to leave it. Um, yeah, and just do a slow pack away, and then about eleven, just go and have a mooch and uh, see if I can find anything. But, uh, it's getting super hot now. I think there was a chance of a fish earlier this morning, but I think this has killed it now. I uh, hope I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, it's uh, not even 9 o'clock and it's really hot. And it's going to get worse next week apparently. It's going to get really hot again, <laughs> you know, up, up near 30 again. So, uh, yeah, it feels like that now. Alright, okay, a stealthy pack away it is. Tench. Okay, it's 10 o'clock now, so I just stuck a bag out for the last hour. Um, yeah. Let me good old fight that tench. Okay, that's it, 11 o'clock. Let's go and see if we can find some fish. Nope, nothing seen, so uh, that's that, but uh, that's okay. I'm really pleased with that fish that I've had after a few blanks. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to getting back down during the week next week, even though it's gonna be an absolute sculpture. So uh, yeah, right, well if you uh, like this video, please like, uh, subscribe if you haven't, hit that notification bell. Um, if you're out there fishing, 
in this uh, lovely weather. I hope you're having a few and I'll see you next time.